why families refuse to accept dead kin's body. The Kallakuruchi case has brought an old debate to the forefront. Refusal to accept body of dead kin. The parents of Srimati, the 17-year-old girl who committed suicide, had refused to collect her body. They had moved the Madras High Court saying that they suspect errors had occurred during the investigation of the post-mortem. However, after the Supreme Court's order, now the family has agreed to accept the body. This is not the only case. On 22nd April 2021, a 27-year-old Dalit youth, Muttu Manu, was killed inside a remand prisoner's cell in the Palium Kote Central Prison. Pavanasam, Muttu Manu's father, refused to receive the body and sought a CBCID probe. Pavanasam filed a second petition in the High Court asking for a judicial inquiry by a sitting judge. Compensation and inclusion of the prison official as an accused. Muttu Manu's body was collected after 71 days after an ultimatum by the court. The Sterlite case is another example of this. Thirteen families refused to accept the bodies of their deceased family members who had been killed in the Sterlite shooting. The offer of jobs and compensation by the government made the families agree to accept the bodies. Advocate Mario Johnson, who dealt with the Muttumano case personally, gave his insight into this. He said, that in deaths that have occurred under mysterious circumstances, families refuse to accept the body unless conditions put forth by them are fulfilled. This is their way of protesting and demanding justice. This is the one power that they have.